Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again. We are going to go as um, Samuel this time. Just decided I feel like a run with this guy. He's a lot of fun. Um, last time we played him, we played Greed Mode and we absolutely destroyed. I can't even remember, by the way. I apologize if I didn't, but did I do a question of the day on the last episode? I can't remember if I did. If I didn't, um, go into the comments of the last episode and yell at me aggressively. Swear at me if you must. But if I did if I did leave one, then you're not allowed to do either of those things. Instead, do that on this episode. That's 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 today's question of the day. What's your favorite way to playfully insult someone? To like insult them, but kind of like a kind of like a it doesn't sound like a real insult, but it kind of also is. Mine's definitely the uh, British phrase that I've adopted. That apparently. I, I, I got from somewhere, I, I didn't, like, I didn't think that I made it up, but also I'd never heard anyone else use it, but then I found out that it is something that ha that is already adopted, is calling people cockwombles. I don't know where it came from, but I quite like it. It feels, it feels like it's, it's like calling someone a knob jockey, um, but I don't know, It's a, it's, it's got a little bit more playfulness to it, I like that. The, Br the British language just has so many beautiful, beautiful phrases and swear words and all sorts of manner of aggressively yelling at other human beings. It's it's delightful. It really is. Also, Lusty Blood off the bat. Very nice. Malik Mop. Might as well just pop in here, see what's what. Ooh, get a mini Isaac. I can't remember, did the Mini Isaacs adopt our sides? I think they do, right, as this character. I think I remember finding that very cute before. Let's let's find out. Yes! Little scythe buddy. You gotta love it. Oh wait, I didn't even get that key. What the hell? Hopefully we can get a bespoke synergy for this guy this time as well. Diffuse. Um not particularly good. But it, it will allow us to get some extra bombs down the line if we keep it on us. Did you just telefrag me? It's fine. I'll accept your telefrags. Dude! I said that jokingly. We did get Steven out of it, though, which is rare and beautiful. Let's go for a mother run, shall we? I'm feeling mother, which sounds very wrong when I say it, so I shall never say it again. Ooh, hello there, little spiked rock. Ah. We don't have any red hearts. This is useless to me. I love, love, love the uh, the way that this character plays with Malak Mott. The sort of way of using it to get that brief invincibility and aggression to kind of push into areas that melee wouldn't regularly, regularly, regularly be super viable. Like, you'd feel a bit less comfortable using melee in that situation, but because of Malak Mott, it gives you that opportunity. Well, I'm just going to pop. We'll do the boss first here. Don't do the jumpy attack and I'll be happy. You didn't, thank God. We got the white rose. We'll go for angel deal here. White Rose is kind of decent. Let's go get our item room real quick. Hip de scop de skiddly scop all the way back to the item room. But yeah, isn't the British language just a beautiful mess? <laughs> it's just such a complicated, overly engineered, bizarre language. But it's it's also quite nice. I don't know what that does as a I don't know what that, that does as a thingy. Um, oh, okay, I know what it does now. Yeah, okay. I was like, I'm, I'm not sure what this does as a, as a passive item, not an active, but every room we get a random retribution familiar. Pretty good, actually. There's some really good familiars out there we can get. Just generally nice to have. So I really don't mind having that at all. Definitely better than the fight or flight thing. I really should have gone to that secret room, but I've only got one bomb, so I'm not going to traipse all the way back. I kind of forgot. I used I used the, the, uh, the world specifically to find the secret room. Got near it and was like, eh. Too much effort. It would be nice if Malak Mott gave you flight, but also I completely understand why it doesn't, because you could get stuck. But at the same time, it would be rather nice. Bum, bum. 
Um, Pisces is probably just good to have here. I don't know if the knockback would be like super good or not, but it feels like it could be. Oh, here we go. Give me that bomb. Not a super good use of defuse, I'll be honest. But we got a bomb out of it. Ooh, hello. This is a room where I want to get all the way in here, thank you. Having melee swings to get through all that is uh, particularly quite useful. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty interesting selection of items thus far on this character. Fortunately, did get hit there. We've been to our item room, good. We've not found our mirror room that, uh, over there, but... I can't remember what it is that lets Malak Mott charge up while it's in use. There's definitely something that does. Oh no, a poor little axolotl. I think I'll do the boss again, to be honest. I think I've got the uh, the cojones this time to go for it. Could also get a good familiar during the fight, which would help too. Secret room I'm not entirely sure on right now. Thank you for the extra key. Good. That's our mirror room. Hmm. I'm, I know where I hope the secret room is, but I don't know where it actually is. I hope it's here. And it is. So now we can get the boss trap room. We also get a burn heart out of this. Which was, it was a filled burn heart? Which was kind of interesting to see there. I didn't know that existed. Oh, head of the keeper as well. We get the golden scythe. That's beautiful. Um, that's actually not a good item for us to grab until we get a bit more money. So I'm going to hold off on that. Right. The Golden Scythe. That is beautiful looking. I don't know if it'll have any, any, any additional special interactions other than visual. But even if it is just visual, this is the bespoke synergy I can get behind. Strength is pretty good here for the boss. Let's do. Let's uh, take that. More money, please. Crow's heart. Nah. Damn. No more money. He's a tofu. No money from our swings either. Good, good. Hey, perfect. Gotta love that. Right, back up to our item room real quick. Come on, give us a penny. What are these pennies at? This is racism of the highest degree. I really like the uh, the reversed troll bomb faces. They're quite sketchy looking. Right, back through the mirror we go. With no money to speak of. Right, let's go see if we actually want that um, dispatcher machine. I really like the way the gold scythe looks. Got a, a nice sheen to it. Excuse me? Oh, I have to rebomb this. Right. Um, one capsule. It literally we're gonna get one capsule for this, so it's not gonna be very worthwhile. But hey ho. I suppose speed with this character is really good, and we did have lower speed, so it's not a complete loss. But it's not really worth fighting two bosses for now, is it? But how did that bomb do that? It almost actually ended up hitting him, but 
Not what I intended at all. Ow. Excuse me with that heart, please. I want that. Yeah, yeah that wasn't really worth it, but hey, her. You win some, you lose some. Right, let's get out of here. Skadaddle, skadoodle. Your dad is a noodle. Skadiddle, skadaddle. Bomb boy, bomb boy. I do not want to give you my bombs, boy. I really do want to know if I can actually get... Is this going to explode? Yes, he is. I do actually want to know if I can get pennies out of this uh, golden scythe. Because so far, it ain't looking like it. But I feel like it'd be weird to, to have, like, a unique colouring for the scythe and not actually be able to drop pennies, right? It's not just me that finds that strange. Can you guys, like, get out the ground, please? There you go. What are you doing? What is this dude, by the way? I'm confused by his presence. Intriguing. I did, it didn't really do much, but he existed, I suppose. Oh, whoa, whoa. That guy fired a tech laser at me. Oh, there you go. We finally got a penny. It's just a rare chance, apparently. It's just not overly common. Hey, we got that heart back as well. Good, good. Ooh, ooh. These guys definitely do some bombing, I think. Oh my lord, not what I expected at all. They were like all charred and stuff, so I'm like, okay, these guys are going to drop some bombs. <laughs> no, no, no. They do much more than that. They are a fire in their lasers. These guys are cool enemies. I think I'm going to take the, the latter here. Hey, that's really good. Seems like it's something that could have a, a synergy with this guy, maybe. I mean, it's definitely useful. We can see that for sure. Got our item room there already. I think we're pretty much good to go for the uh, for the... The boss straight away, to be honest. I don't need to clear out the entire floor. I know that annoys some people, but hey, it's how I play the game. Y'all just gonna have to get used to it. I'm sure you have by now. We're on episode, like, a thousand. Beautiful. Oh, Mr. Dolly is fantastic here as well. Really good amount of health there. On to the next floor. This is a pretty decent mother run so far. I definitely need some way to make it, um... I definitely need some way to make it a little more, uh... A little more crazy at range. One second. Right, there you go. I'm just speaking to the, uh, developer of, um... A character I recently showcased, which was the, uh, playable Henry. Um, I'm just speaking to them about some of the rarity of some of their items and stuff. Talking about, to them a little bit about that. It's kind of a tricky room with all the clickety clacks here, but we got them all in time. I think you're definitely supposed to use the, uh, the red button there, but I play by my own rules. This guy's tricky. Oh, balls. So are these guys. It's okay though, we got a lot of health now. We can we can play a little more fast and loose. Play a little more tricky. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Especially with the damage we're outputting right now. Oh, I knew that guy was gonna hit me. I used Malak Mott just in time for him to pass right through me. I just saw it coming. Uh, doesn't really matter here, does it? The Odyssey, which is uh, a book. On use performs the following actions. Spawns a large puddle of blue creep, destroys rocks within a short ra radius, and attaches anchors to enemies within a short radius. That's pretty good. Also, this trinket is pretty good too. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Destroying rocks within a short radius is really nice. 
the puddle of creep and the anchor as well all all combined for a pretty decent effect. I'm not exactly sure where it's best to use this. Remember, we don't have to actually get the knife piece here. Ooh, is that a deceiver heart? It is indeed. Deceiver hearts basically are hearts that you can pick up, and they don't actually give you hearts. They're a heart drop that isn't a heart drop. Kind of an interesting idea, really. The low chance to replace, but. So let's just try this out. Okay, that is a pretty small puddle of creep. And because this guy's multi segmented, I don't think it anchored him correctly. Still pretty cool, though. Considering it's on a two room charge, I didn't expect it to be anything crazy. Bees in minecarts. Strange. Yeah, it is a pretty small radius, and the puddle of creep is kind of tiny. I wonder if the birth, birthright of this guy or anything increases your uh, Malak Mock duration. Or if there's anything that can. Maybe car battery does. That'd be really useful. The blue fires are so nice for destroying projectiles, honestly. Whoa, what the hell are these things? Those are enemies that I have not seen before. I very much like the design on those, but are they new or are they just rare? Oh, shit. Okay, last wave. Don't have Malak Mott ready for it, so... Whatever it is, we have to deal with it. Ow. Not great on the damage front there. We got Golem's Orb, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, we don't, we don't know what we're getting here. Star of Bethlehem's pretty decent too. I can't... If I remember correctly, it doesn't do anything on the Mother fight, though. I'm I'm almost certain that it doesn't work on Mother, which is a real shame. I might be wrong about that. But I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain it doesn't. Which is calls for um, maybe a mod. This is cause for concern, because I think my game's crashed. It has. One second, people. One second. Okay, we are back and we are on this floor now. Uh, I did have a problem with errors, as you can see here. There's um, some errors with the mini Isaac mod and Repentance Plus. Um, and unique chest pools, apparently. There's, there's a lot of errors going on right now. Apparently, the game with the latest update kind of broke a bit. And now, when an error occurs, it basically errors out every single mod and stops a lot of mods from working correctly. So we may notice some funky stuff now that the game's errored, which is probably why the game crashed in the first place. But yeah, um, apparently some funky stuff with errors at the minute can make it so that um, it kind of glitches out all the mods, which I'm assuming will be fixed pretty quickly. I'm sure um, a few people have let uh, Kilburn know of the fact that this is happening. I, at least I hope th uh, they have. So um, it shouldn't be something that's a problem for too long. But it is currently a problem. Basically, I'd suggest anyone that's that's playing um, that's playing modded Isaac right now uh, that like isn't on the newest patch that's watching this at uh, the current patch I'm playing on, I'd highly suggest that if you have a mod that... Ooh, this could be pretty good. If you have a mod that... Um, has errors in the console so be checking your console pretty regularly if there's a mod that's giving you errors disable it for now because it is going to be fucking with other mods it's going to be causing issues all over the place also this is really nice it gives us like an arc of that i really like that oh this guy is a boss i've never fought before very very cool looking oh oh this is cool i really like the noise this makes <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is so very cool. Also, we got super lucky with the uh, the, the look familiar that we got here. What a tumors. Kind of nice. That's a really cool boss right there. Um, down we go. But yeah, unfortunately, it's just how it is. I think basically what happened from what I can see in the console is 
we got an error with... Come on, come on, come on. Repentance Plus is just all over the place right now. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We got an error with Mini Isaacs. Uh, unique Mini Isaacs. Because this character's Mini Isaac caused a bug, which then in turn caused a bug... Uh, caused the game to crash, which then in turn has caused Repentance Plus to start bugging out. Yeah, nice. I don't know what my health's currently at. I really, really like this. The fact that it's the golden scythe as well doing this is cool. The noise it makes is just kind of beautiful. I wish I had a bit more speed going on. My speed is still pretty low. Every single time we get this little, this little familiar dude here, we get plus 10 luck. Uh, plus 10.9 luck at least. And yeah, it's really good for uh, firing our chili peppers. Oh my god. Good, good. I'm not going to wait for uh, Star, to be honest. It takes too long. Ow. Very worried about my current HP. Wow, okay. Star Bethlehem came in and just saved the day there. Um, definitely take this. Have a little check in here. Dark Arts is pretty darn good. Oh, for sake. Didn't expect you. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it though. Too much HP to trade, I think. I mean, I'm really relying on my fires right now to destroy projectiles. It's not a great idea. As you just saw, I got like four hits back to back to back there. Probably not on a great amount of HP anymore, am I? Probably not on a great amount of HP anymore. Actually, not anywhere near as bad as I thought it would be. Animal heart's pretty lovely there. Take the advice of the Star of Bethlehem, go the, go the way that it's going. If there's a crossroad, we let it decide. So we wait for it in this room and see what it, tell, see, see what it tells us. I just wish it was a bit faster. Come on, you slow bugger. Oh my god, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, then we can go this way. Really? That hit me? Okay, now. Hey, thank you for showing me where the boss is. Oh my lord, the damage I am taking today. It's unprecedented. I just verped that pill for no reason. Okay, this is a risk, but I'm going to take it. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I don't know why these are rotating. Oh, this is the Enigma, isn't it? It's the, um... It's the blessing that we got for this floor. Right, last floor. We have sped through this run. This has been a crazy fast one. The Star of Bethlehem. Ooh, this guy's... That's kind of crazy. Not very confident on my current amount of HP for what we're doing here, but I guess we'll play it out and see what happens. Maybe I should have taken Dark Arts. Maybe I can force this familiar somehow. I don't exactly know how I do that, but maybe I can. Maybe I could not get hit more. <sighs> maybe I could just keep getting hit. Maybe I could get hit twice for no reason. Oh boy, this has been rough. <laughs> very, very rough. Not expect you, Toothy. Thank you for burning this guy up for me. Alright, which way now? 
If I manage to get Mother like this, I'm going to be very surprised. Especially like this, considering I just lost another bit of health. Oh, <sighs> take it easy. Melee characters, I'm just not good at. I'm just not good at. At all. I don't know what it is about them, but my brain just can't compute. Holy shit. Guy's crazy. The fucking Star of Epling actually beat me that time. Okay. Last room, I think. And then we gotta beat Mother with just two hits available. Probably without Star of Bethlehem as well, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Even though it should. Okay, I got the right familiar. I don't know if it stays with me when I come down here or not. Let's find out. It doesn't. Damn it. Oh, no, no. It, it, it is here. This is a lot better than I thought, but I'm, it's still very bad. Especially now that I've been hit. Not going to be very much use now, though, I don't think. Damn it! No! Why? Damn it! That was a fun one regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A very speedy run indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.